Hey everyone, this is Baylor. Welcome back to Baylor Breaks It Down. Today, we're gonna to build a WordPress course catalog site. Looks like this. So what we have is a homepage that tells us we can browse the courses. We get a preview of our courses. These are all managed inside of WordPress. If we click into one of these, we'll go into the CMS from scratch. You can see it lists out all the port parts in this series. If we click on one of them, you can see it gives us our YouTube video. If we resize this window, the YouTube video resizes with it to stay at its maximum width. And then if we go to the bottom, you can see we got our navigation to go to the next and previous parts until we get to the very end, which the next link goes away. So thanks for checking this out. I hope you enjoy it. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. And now let's break it down. So here I am logged into the WordPress admin. We're gonna to need to add two plugins. So we'll go to the left side of the menu and say we wanna add a new plugin. The first plugin we'll do is on the top right corner, we'll search for custom post type. And we'll wanna install this custom post type UI plugin. So we'll click install now, and then we'll choose activate. And so now you can see we have the custom post type plugin installed and activated. We also have this new menu in the bottom left corner. What we'll also do is add another plugin. So we'll go to plugins, add new, we're going to search for advanced custom fields and here's the advanced custom fields plugin. We'll install this plugin and then we're also going to activate it. So now with these two plugins activated, we're going to add our custom post type. So we'll hop to the bottom left corner to our custom post type UI plugin. We're going to add a post type. We're going to call this slug a lesson. We're going to set the plural label to lessons and we're going to set the singular label to lesson. And then just for good measure, I'm going to hop down in here into the icon and I'm going to specify the media interactive icon. And so with that done, we can add our custom post type and you can see now we have lessons on the left where we can add a lesson and view our, all our lessons. What we'll do next is add a custom taxonomy. We're going to specify this as course. Our label will be courses. Our single label will be course. And this taxonomy is only going to apply to lessons. And so we'll hit add. And now if we hover over lessons, you can see we also have our courses. So now that we've added these courses, what we also want to do is add thumbnails. So we'll go into our custom fields. We're going to go to custom fields. We're going to add a new custom field and we're going to call this our course fields. We'll go to our post type and say, this is actually for a taxonomy term and we're looking for courses. And now we're going to add a field. Our field name is going to be thumbnail. We're going to leave the field name as thumbnail. This will be used inside of our PHP code. We want to render this. Next, we're going to change our field type to actually be an image. And then we're going to change the return value from an image object to just being the image URL. And so with this done, we can close this field and we can publish. So with this field group published, we can hop over into our lessons, our courses, you can see when we add a new course now, we have an option to add a thumbnail. And so we're gonna create our first course, which will be creating a shopping cart in Rails. We're gonna specify our slug as Rails shopping cart, and then we'll enter our description. And now with this, we can select our thumbnail, which we just drag and drop into the select image, and we'll choose select. And now we can add our new course. So now that we've created our courses, taxonomy. Let's go ahead and add our first lesson. Before we do that though, we need to add another custom field section. So we'll add new. We're going to call this our lesson fields. We're going to specify the post type is equal to a lesson. And we're going to add our first field, which we'll call the YouTube ID. This will be a text field. It will be required and we'll close that field. We're going to add another field. This one will be our duration and we'll just specify a duration in seconds. We'll make this type a number. It's also required. And then we can close this field and we'll add one more. And this last field will be the part when we'll specify this as a number as well. And it's also required. And so with these done, we can publish this custom post field group and we're ready to add our first lesson. So we'll hop into lessons. We're gonna choose add new. We're gonna see that we have our fields down here at the bottom. We also have a place to have a full WYSIWYG text editor. And we can choose our course on the right, which we will choose our Rails course. And we'll say building the project. And now we can specify the YouTube ID, which I'm just gonna put in XXX, the duration will just say 638 seconds, and this will be part one. And so now we can publish this video and we are ready to add our UI now so that instead of having these thumbnails, we actually list out our courses. 
So what I've done is I've hopped into our WordPress theme. You can see that we have all the files here that are very plain and simple. They're the ones that include this mocked up UI. And what we're going to do is we're going to head into our home PHP. And this is where we're listing out all of our courses. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace everything inside of this album area, just like so. And what we want to do is get all of our courses. And so the first thing we're going to do is just open up our PHP. We're going to say we want to get all of our terms inside of the course taxonomy type. We want to order these by their ID and we want to order this descending. And the next thing that we want to do is come down inside of where we have our row and we're going to say that we want to loop over each of these courses as a course. And then here we'll create our bootstrap card. And then inside of here, the first thing we're going to do is create our link. And the way this works is we are going to echo out our term link for this particular course. And inside of here, we'll add our image, which we say that we want to get the field. Now, this is part of the advanced custom fields. We're saying that we want to get the thumbnail field for this course. The next thing we want to do is add in our description from the course. And then we want to just say that we have a number of count, our count, which will tell me how many posts that we have inside this taxonomy. And then we pluralize it for lesson or lessons based on that count. And then finally, we add another link to the course where we say start course with our font awesome Chevron right icon. And so if we save this and go back, you can see when I refresh, we get all our courses. Now I've gone in the background and I've added all the full course list and all the lessons so that you don't have to watch me add that, but that's something you'll have to do on your own. Now you can see if I actually go to one of these courses, we get a blank page. And the way this works is WordPress is trying to render out the archive page for taxonomy and we don't have that. And so what we'll do is we'll hop back into our source code and we'll create a new file called taxonomy-course.php. And so WordPress will say that anytime we render a taxonomy, look for taxonomy.php-course. And that's because we're looking at the course taxonomy type. So we'll create this file. And what we'll do inside of here is we're going to first add our header and footer based on our WordPress theme. The second thing we're going to do is we want to get the queried object. And since WordPress knows we're looking at a course, this will just be our course type. The next thing we want to do is start a WordPress query to get all our lessons. So we say we want to get the post type of lesson. We don't care how many are per page. There's no paging here. We order by that custom field part, and we're going to order ascending. And the next thing we want to do is this will give us all the lessons in the entire system. So we want to specify that we're querying on a taxonomy for our course where the ID matches our course term ID. And so with that done, we can come in here, we're going to add our container, and we're going to echo out that course name. We're also going to add a breadcrumb type, go back to all the courses link. And then once we have this done, we can make sure that we have a few, at least one post. And we'll do that off of lessons have post. And then here, we're going to create a table to list out the part, the title, and the duration of this, these lessons. We'll go into our T body, and we'll start the famous WordPress loop. So we say, have post on a loop and then we get the post and then now when we actually render out our table rows we can have access to the field and the permalink and the title just like you're used to inside of a wordpress template so the first column in this table we run out the part we run out a link to the title and then finally we're using this gm date function of php to format our duration of seconds into minutes and seconds and so now if we hop back over and refresh this page you can see that we have a link to all courses we have our current taxonomy type title, and then we have a link to all of our individual lessons. But if we click on one of these lessons, you can see we got a blank page. And so what we need to do now is go back to our theme, and we're going to edit single-lesson.php. And this is because we're looking at a single post type of lesson. And so inside of this file, we'll start our WordPress theme with our header and our footer. We're going to go in and add our container for the page where we also have our have post and get the post. And so this will load this post for us so that we can say that we want to get the part from our field part. We want to render out the title. The next thing we'll do is we're going to go in and say that we want to get our current course. So we get all the terms for our post, where they're a type of course, and we get the first one. And then we're rendering out the course name. And then I'll also add more breadcrumbs so that we have our all courses. If we go and refresh, you can see we have our all courses, then we get our, our PHP CMS from scratch, and then we have our part title. The next thing we want to do is come to below our title, and we're going to add in our video player, 
which we're just linking to are an iframe for the YouTube embed URL, and we're saying get the field for the YouTube ID. And so we refresh, you can see this gives us our YouTube player. The next thing we want to do is come below. We're going to add our lesson content so that if we had put in our description, that would come in. We'll also start adding our navigation. We're just going to use the Bootstrap 4 Flexbox here so that we justify the content between. We're going to create two divs and we're going to put in our previous and our next post links. And so now if we look, you can see we have our links. If we click on this, it gives us both left and right side. And the final thing we're going to do is we're going to add jQuery and FitVid.js and say that for our video player, we want to call FitVids and that will make our video stretch and become responsive to the page. Now the last thing that we want to do is we have our course list on the home page, but if we go to the courses link at the top, you can see we get a blank page. The reason for that is because we have a custom page for our courses, but this doesn't tell us how to render the courses. So what we'll do is we'll hop back into our code and we're going to create a new file called template-courselist.php. And inside of here, we're going to render out our header, but we need to tell WordPress this is a template. So we'll add a magical comment called template name colon, and we say courses, and then we'll render out our footer. And then finally, I'm going to add in our container. We're going to have our header for all courses. We're going to do this thing called get template part for our courses loop. And what we want to do with this is because if we look at our home page, you can see that we're going to render out these courses basically identically in both places. So what we want to do is move all of this. So we'll create a new file called courses-loop.php. And we're just going to move all of this for each and all up here. And then inside of here, we can do the same thing where we say PHP get template part for our courses loop. And so now if we hop back into our home page, you can see this is still rendering the same. But if we go to our courses page, we haven't changed anything here. So we'll go back and edit this page. On the right, our template and choose courses. Update this page. And now if we go and view this page, you can see that it's listing all the courses and everything works as it should. And we even have our navigation all the way back to the courses page. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. I'm Baylor.